Today we'll be talking about the elantosis and urhs. Now you guys can see in the diagram, this is the yolk sac, okay? So this is the yolk sac, and this is the, uh, this one is the urogenital sinus, which is the part of cloaca, and which is going to form urinary bladder, so urogenital sinus. Now the protrusion from yolk sac, which connect the yolk sac with the urogenital sinus is called elantos. So this red one, you can see this is elantos. So what does it mean by elantos? It is the protrusion of yolk sac at the foot of hind gut, you can also say. So the protrusion of the yolk sac, protrusion from yolk sac, protrusion of yolk sac, which connect the yolk sac with the urogenital sinus is called elantos. This is called elantos, okay? So now, Later on, this elantos is going to form the urethes as the urogenital sinus form the urinary bladder. Let's talk about the urethes. Uh, this one in the diagram, you guys can see now. Now, this is the yolk sac, okay? This is the yolk sac. And now, this is the duct, okay? This duct is actually the urethes. And here, this you can see this is the urinary bladder, fetal urinary bladder, okay? And this urinary bladder, this is the, now this is the yolk sac. So a duct between the yolk sac and urinary bladder is called urethes. The urinary bladder is made from urogenital sinus in 5th to 7th week of gestation. Now let's define it again. What is urethes? It is the duct which is present between the, the fetal urinary bladder and yolk sac. Okay, so this is called urethes. Now this urethes at birth, this urethes must obliterate or it must fibrost. Okay. So if it doesn't obliterate or fibrost, then it will lead to different urinary bladder anomalies like fatant urethes, uh, urethral sinus, and urethral cyst. Elantos, urethes, and median umbilical ligament. The elantos give us the median umbilical ligament. How you will remember? In the elantos, there is world AN. And in the median, there is also world AN. So this is how you will remember that elantos give us the median umbilical ligament. 